Dr. Ngozi Okike, and you're welcome to this series of inspirational messages that will help you to discover who God meant for you to be. I'm an author, a pastor, an evangelist, a teacher of the Word of God, above all, I'm a professor of God's goodness and faithfulness. In my professional world, I'm also an education and training consultant. I've been in the higher education sector for over 33 years. And it's been my pleasure to know that I have helped to shape the lives of many young men and women who have graduated over the years to go and become all that God meant for them to be. Today I'm speaking on a very, very important subject. In fact, my subject today is a question and it's a question that we all need to ask ourselves. What if? You see, every day we live is a gift from God. And so, we have to ask ourselves, what if today was to be my last on this earth? We know that life is full of uncertainties. Many of us embark on journeys that many others have embarked upon but never returned. Many of us have gone to work. Some have gone to work, but it was their last day at work. You recall the events of 11 September 2001 in which people were in the World Trade Center in New York. It was like a normal working day, but for thousands, it was their last day. Many on those planes that crashed into the World Trade Center they were embarking on a normal journey, but they never knew it was going to be their last. How about the MH370, the Malaysian airplane that is yet to be discovered with it? Over 200 cells on board. You can think of the Korean ferry that sank with hundreds of souls. I mean, everyday accidents occur on our roads, on our trains, on buses. So life is full of uncertainties. And that is why we can never take any day for granted. What if today was your last on earth? Are you prepared to face eternity? Remember, our time here on earth is very short and very temporary. But eternity is forever. And it's foolhardy for us to focus so much attention on what is temporary and fail to prepare ourselves for what is eternal, what will go on forever and ever and ever. And the only way you discover what happens on the other side is when you die. But you have to prepare yourself because there is judgment coming. A day is coming that God is going to punish the evil that is being done on the earth. That is why he has made provision for man to reconcile with him. He sent Jesus into the world to come and die, to pay the punishment for our sins. Because we are all born in sin. Every human being is born in sin. It is in our nature. And so we need to make peace with God. So that if we die today, we know that we will spend eternity with God. Many of us spend our time making plans about what we want to do today, tomorrow, next week. But next week may never come. And that is why the Bible says in, jo in James chapter 4, verse 13 and 14, it says, Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell and make a profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. 
for what is your life. It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Yes, the Bible describes our, describes our life as a vapor that appears now like a, the flower that shoots. You enjoy it for a season and after that it's gone. So how do I prepare myself to answer the question? Perhaps somebody watching there, you when you've been to your doctors and they've said to you, you have a life-threatening disease, what happens? Like, I woke up on the morning of the 9th of October 2012, only to discover a lump in my breast. We have no history of cancer in my family. So that was something that took me by surprise. Yes, life is full of surprises. Well, if you went to your GP as well, and you were told you had something that could be life-threatening. I actually wrote my experience in a book, The Touch Bearer, How Do People Cope? Live with Cancer. You can get yourself a copy of this book. If I know somebody who's going through cancer treatment right now, how do you survive? How do you face the everyday challenges? Get a copy of The Touch Bearer. You get it on Amazon as an ebook or in print copy. Or you can also get it on www.assurancepublications.com. In the meantime, I want to help you to prepare yourself for the virtualities of life. Because at the end of the day, our human body is only ashes. It's our soul that matters. So you need to prepare for what happens if God should call you today. The steps are very simple. As simple as A, B, C, D. A is to admit, to accept, to agree that you are a sinner because we are all sinners. B is to believe that Jesus died for you. C is to confess. Tell God you are sorry. D is to decide to invite Jesus into your life. You can do that right now. Very simple steps. A, B, C, D. Who can forget that? If you are ready to take that step right now to know that if you die today, you have peace with God. For God so loved the world, John 3.16 says, that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Today, you can have your everlasting life can start. Let me leave you into this simple prayer. You can say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. I ask you to forgive me for all the sins I have committed in my life right from the day I was born up till this hour. Please forgive me. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me. Forgive everything, the ones I know, the ones I don't know about. Have mercy on me. Today I receive you into my life as my Lord and my Savior. I want to know that if I should die today, I will spend eternity with you. I believe you, Jesus. You are the Savior who came into the world to save us from our sins. And I receive you into my life today. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayers. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to introduce you to something that will help you. You have become born again. Become a member of God's holy family. Get this book, Your New Life. It will explain to you all you need to do to grow in that life so that you can be successful in your work with God. Get yourself a Bible. It's God's roadmap. It will explain to you how to work with God successfully. God bless you for listening.